Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video we will learn that how to calculate the value of both external as well as internal static indeterminacy of a frame. We will first learn the method to find the value of static indeterminacy and then we will solve some questions on this to better understand the concept. First the definition of static indeterminacy. The equilibrium equations provide both the necessary and sufficient conditions for equilibrium when all the forces in a structure can be determined strictly from these equations the structure is referred to as statically determinate structures having more unknown forces than available equilibrium equations are called statically indeterminate it is given as number of unknown forces in members or at support reactions minus equations of static equilibrium available Total static indeterminacy is given as ds is equal to dsi plus dsc where dsi is the degree of internal static indeterminacy and dsc is the degree of external static indeterminacy. The value of external indeterminacy that is dse is given as total number of support reactions in the structure minus number of equilibrium equations of static equilibrium available which is equal to R minus 3. Internal indeterminacy that is DSI is equal to total indeterminacy minus external indeterminacy. Now the value of degree of static indeterminacy of a frame is given as DS is equal to 3M plus R minus 3J minus summation of M prime minus 1 where M is the number of members R is the number of reactions, J is the number of joints, M prime is the number of members meeting at an internal hinge and if DS is equal to 0 we can say that this structure is determinate, if DS is greater than 0 then structure is indeterminate and if DS is less than 0 then the structure is unstable. Now we will solve some questions on this. You can see frame first is shown. For this frame we can see that it has total of three members, five reactions that is three at this fixed support and two at this hinged end. There are four joints in this frame and there is one internal hinge in this frame. The number of members meeting at this internal hinge are two so M prime will be equal to two. The value of ds for this frame will be equal to one so this frame is indeterminate up to one degree. The value of external indeterminacy of this frame is equal to R minus 3 where R is the number of reactions so it will be 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 and the value of internal indeterminacy of this frame is total indeterminacy minus external indeterminacy which is equal to 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 1. For frame 2 we can see that this frame has 6 members, 3 reactions six joints and there are two internal hinges in this frame. The number of members meeting at both of these two internal hinges are two so M prime is two and two. The value of ds for this frame is equal to one so we can say that this frame is indeterminate up to one degree. But we can see that this frame is also unstable as if we give displacement to this roller it will result in a rigid body movement of the structure. So this frame is unstable. The value of external indeterminacy of this frame is 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0 and the value of internal indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1. For frame 3 we can see that this frame has 12 members, 12 reactions, 11 joints and there is one internal hinge in this frame. Number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 4 so M prime is 4. The value of ds for this frame is equal to 12. So we can say that this frame is indeterminate up to 12 degree. The value of external indeterminacy is equal to 12 minus 3 which is equal to 9. And the value of internal indeterminacy is equal to 12 minus 9 which is equal to 3. For frame 4 we can see that this frame has 15 members, 7 reactions, 12 joints and there is no internal hinge in this frame so M prime will be equal to 0. The value of ds for this frame is equal to 16. 
so this frame is indeterminate up to 16 degree the value of external indeterminacy is equal to 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4 and the value of internal indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 16 minus 4 which is equal to 12. For frame 5 we can see that this frame has total of 10 members, 12 reactions, 10 joints and there are two internal hinge in this frame. The number of members meeting at both of these two internal hints are 2 so m prime is 2 and 2 the value of ds for this frame is equal to 10 so this frame is indeterminate up to 10 degree the value of external indeterminacy for this frame is equal to 12 minus 3 which is equal to 9 and the value of internal indeterminacy for this frame is 10 minus 9 which is equal to 1 for frame 6 we can see that this frame has total of 11 members, 12 reactions, 11 joints and there is one internal hinge in this frame. The number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 2 so m prime is 2. The value of ds for this frame is equal to 11. So this frame is indeterminate up to 11 degree. The value of external indeterminacy is equal to 12 minus 3 which is equal to 9 and the value of internal indeterminacy is equal to 11 minus 9 which is equal to 2. For frame 7, we can see that this frame has 10 members, 6 reaction, 9 joints and 1 internal hinge and the number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 3, so m prime is 3. The value of ds for this frame is equal to 7. So we can say that this frame is indeterminate up to 7 degree. The value of external indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 6 minus 3, which is equal to 3 and the value of internal indeterminacy of this frame is 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4. For frame 8 we can see that this frame has total of 5 members, 7 reactions, 6 joint, 1 internal hinge, number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 2 so m prime is 2. The value of ds for this frame is equal to 3 so we can say that this frame is indeterminate up to 3 degree. The value of external indeterminacy of this frame is equal to r minus 3 which is equal to 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4. The value of internal indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 3 minus 4 which is equal to minus 1. For frame 9 we can see that this frame has total of 15 members, 11 reactions, 14 joints and there are two internal hints in this frame number of members meeting at both of these internal hints are 2 so m prime is 2 and 2 the value of ds for this frame is equal to 12 so we can say that this frame is indeterminate up to 12 degree the value of external indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 11 minus 3 which is equal to 8 and the value of internal indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 12 minus 8 which is equal to 4 for frame 10 we can see that this frame has 8 members, 6 reactions, 8 joints and there are 2 internal hints in this frame. We can see that the number of members meeting at both of these internal hints are 2 so m prime is 2 and 2. So the value of ds for this frame is 4. We can say that this frame is indeterminate up to 4 degree. The value of external indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 6 minus 3 which is equal to 3 and the value of internal indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1. For frame 11 we can see that this frame has total of 8 members, 7 reactions, 8 joints and there are 2 internal hints in this frame. The number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 4 and number of members meeting at this internal hinge are 2 so m prime is 4 and 2. The value of ds for this frame is equal to 3 so this frame is indeterminate up to 3 degree. The value of external indeterminacy for this frame is 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4 and the value of internal indeterminacy for this frame is equal to 3 minus 4 which is equal to minus 1. Finally for frame 12 we can see that this frame has total of 15 members, 8 reactions, 12 joints and there are 4 internal hints in this frame for 
these two internal hinge number of members meeting uh, at the internal hinge are four and for these two internal hinge the number of members meeting at the internal hinge are two so m prime will be four comma four comma two and two the value of ds for this frame is equal to nine so we can say this frame is indeterminate up to nine degree the value of external indeterminacy for this frame is equal to 8 minus 3 which is equal to 5 and the value of internal indeterminacy of this frame is equal to 9 minus 5 which is equal to 4. So this is how we calculate the value of external as well as internal static indeterminacy of a frame. I hope you guys learned something new from this video and if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching my videos.